What's going on, Boston? Pax, baby. How's it going, everyone? My fellow Dumperoonies. Thank you so very much for tuning in to the Voicemail Dump Truck on this Saturday. You're hosting this? March 23rd, 2024. I don't know. These are all surprises Correct. to you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in live and coming to see us in person here at Pax 24. Pax East 24, thank you so very much for being here. It's very nice of you to applaud that. Uh, we went around the last couple days of the show looking for live video voicemails. Well, it's not live. Ooh. We recorded them. Oh, boy. Well, they were live when we recorded them. Very That's not what live means. Success. I'm learning everything new today. All right. Um, so, in the can. Yeah, it's in the can. So um, what's, everyone, uh, what's everyone up to? Because I, I want to hear, like... What, what, Wait, can I ask what, a question? Yeah, what's, what's up? It, is anyone else's like lips like really chapped? Yes. Yes. Everyone, yeah. okay. What is going on? Rookies. I thought, I thought something was shit. super wrong with me until Grub said that today. Yeah, I'm like, I, I never even am a chapstick guy. My lips are usually fine. And then I like woke up today, or it was actually last night, my face hurts. Yeah. It's dry. Yeah, it's, it's dry. dry. Like, is did, it the city or is it the weather? It's the, the state. The state. Oh, wait, wow. wait, wait, wait. Like, we, we have to, we have to unpack something before I guess we introduce everybody on the panel here. <laughs> a lot of people. So Dan Riker starts texting me before we came out here mm. and I was like, Dan, it's going to be really, really cold. You know, you're used to that. Like you should absolutely dress like you're going skiing. I've never skied. Right. But like we mostly understand what that probably means, right? Like bring heavy clothing, bring heavy jackets. And what did you bring to uh, Boston, Dan? I brought a very light jacket because I live in Minnesota and I had some Minnesota hubris and I thought it would be fine. But cold is cold, and it was rough that first night for sure. Cold is cold. Turn down. Cold is cold. Yeah, the cold never you were in the anyway. Discord being like, it is unbearably cold here. Guys, you need to bring jackets. You will die. And we got off the plane. We were like, this is light work. What's going yeah, on I mean, here? For, no, no, for context, I don't have a coat. Yeah. I came out today in this. There yeah. you go. Give it up for Lucy James. What ladies and gentlemen. Is British people are more powerful than Americans. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, uh, Friday night, you were shivering like a chihuahua on the street. <laughs> my, my skeleton was actively, like, vibrating. Your bones were shaking. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, it was pretty rough. Uh, let's introduce everyone up on the panel here. This is a voicemail call in after all. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jeff Grubb. Howdy, Jeff. How are you? Give it up for my lobster roll partner, lobster Mike boy. Minotti. For the lobster boys. All right. We had a lobster roll an hour ago that blew my uh, face off. A salted caramel lobster roll. They drizzled salted caramel yes, on the lobster gross. roll. It was a good. It had a little buttery bread thing going on there. Why are you moving like the baby from the dinosaurs? <laughs> I'm the, I can sing that whole song. No, I know you can, and God, I regret no. bringing it up. Please Other don't. Other brother, father, sister, I'm the greatest baby in prehistory. Re he cut his mic. Yeah, no. Uh, to my left, my own little buttered roll, Jan Ochoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take oh, it, HR baby. is calling. <laughs> uh, after this panel, I do have a vat of butter in my backpack, and we'll be having a great time. Woo! That's right. Butter for everyone. Dan Reichert, how are you, pal? I'm doing great. How great. That's wonderful. Tam! <laughs> to more Hussein, how are you, bud? I'm good. You're good. Very warm. Very warm. Yeah. Do you want to take your jacket off? No, nah, I'm good. Give it to Dan. Nah. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, and finally, Lucy James, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! So like I said, uh, we've been enjoying our time here in Boston. We went around and we collected voicemails on video, live at the time, but now they're in the can. And the first one we got to do is going to go to Jeff Grubb. Can you set this up for us? Like. Let's watch the video, yeah? Oh, Please yes. Let's watch the video. Oh, oh yes. you are not prepared for this. No. All right, wait for this. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get yelled at. Do you have any tips about sports gambling or anything of that going on right now? Rob asked him to ask this question. Look at him. He asked him to ask this question because he just want a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Yeah, good cut, Jan. <laughs> Hold on. It was a plant. Hold the on. The question was a plant. It was a plant. Everyone, everyone caption this. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That's real good. 
Can I, can I tell yeah, this? Yes, set it up. Okay. Uh, you're not like a big gambler. No, I put $35 in uh, a, an account for the Super Bowl. I, I bet on the Super Bowl, and that's it. Right, I, think, so you, I think he's about to become a big gambler. Well, well, I can't be happened. in the room right now while we're talking about yeah. this, okay? Jen, earmuffs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was like Friday night, and we were, and, and you, we were at Trillium. Yep. And you were saying, oh, hey, everyone just pick over-unders, right? Yeah. So over-under, if you don't know, is basically guessing uh, how many total points will be scored in a game. So for hockey, it's usually like... Six and a half. A half, uh, a half score. So we all picked it, and we were like, oh, we'll do like a 10-game parlay is when you combine all the bets together. 11? Well, well, well this, this is not... No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we were like, all right, cool. And we bet a dollar on it. We bet like, a dollar on yeah. it. And, it, you know, because it's so many bets compounded, you the odds are yeah. crazy. So you can make... Uh, insane amount of money off a small bet. Right, that one would have been, like, we would have won that one, it would have been, like, $400. Right. Yeah. yeah. The night before, Jeff Grubb placed his own parlay. And so I was, like, getting ready to go to bed for, like, because I hadn't lost all my money yet, and that's what I plan to do when I bet on the Super Bowl. I'm like, I'll just play till I lose all my money. It's $35, whatever. Uh, I was about to go to sleep waiting to catch the plane, and I just went through each game, bang, 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 and I did an 11-game parlay. And then we were at we, Trillium, and I'm like, no, since some things are going my way. Yeah, you're like, but, oh, look whatever. at this. You're like, oh, you think the Jets will score? And I'm like, no, I think yeah, we're talking do. about it a yeah. little bit. Uh, but then we got back to the hotel, and every game had hit, and there was like four games left, and they were all looking pretty solid. And this, <laughs> this one is um, it's 11 game parlay, and I put like $9. $9. It nine don't it don't won, say how much. No, no, no. Can, I, can I say how much? Wait, 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 we got we to lead up to it. So, you know, all of a sudden there were like two games left. I was like, oh, this, you're going to win this game for sure. Yeah, and I was telling you to shut the fuck up. You were going to ruin it. <laughs> no, that was the... No, no, no. And then... Also, at this point, we are all in the corner, like, obsessively checking scores. Jeff goes away. He yeah. can't be around yeah. us. He's no, at the bar. This was the last health. game. The last game we did that for. So He, he that, left his phone and You did that on the last game. Yeah, I, 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 who was playing in the It last? was like the Golden Knights and... Yeah, right, yeah. it was a West Coast game. Yeah. So I just gave my phone to, to, to Daddy and said, look at this, please, Bacalar, while I go away. <laughs> but we were turning around looking at you, and you were sitting at the bar just gesticulating wildly, talking to someone. like, who... Well, did, does he well, know? Does he know this person? Like, no, well, it was total know, strangers, right? part, my birthday started. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, right. At midnight, it was your birthday. We right. did the sync clap for his birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy birthday, Jeff Grubb. Yeah. Don't it, worry, he got a present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so my birthday started and it's like looking really good and I had to like give the phone to you and I walked away and then uh, I'm like I'm like waiting for Bacalar to come get me and say he, either you lost or you won and really the last game was it was look it was like late oh, no. in the third wait, period wait, 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 wait. it was two goals the over under was like six and a half and they you had the like, under like the 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 thing that you're missing is at a certain point Bacalar looks at it and goes there is no conceivable way you won't win this. Like, the, the rate of scoring in hockey... No, is, I said that he will. there's no way he'll lose. Yeah, as in, yeah. like, there's no way, like, the other team is going to be totally. your, your thing. And it was like, Jeff was getting, like, noticeably agitated every <laughs> time. Because he was like, you're jinxing it. So I'm knocking on wood repeatedly. Yes, Dan was the only one knocking on I'm, wood, like, by the way. I'm, like, knocking on wood. I'm like, good, good, good. And he just walks off because this guy's going, you are definitely going to win. You are definitely going to win. I, and I Jeff can't... Grubb is getting red, and he just, like, walks away. I cannot explain enough what it means to win an 11 game parlay. I don't know if any of you are sports gamblers, but that never happens. Okay? The odds of it happening are something like 1,800 to 1. The odds of it happening on your birthday? Yeah, on your birthday. On your right. birth yeah. so, t so tell us what happened, Grub. Uh, so I come back and I'm like, talk to you. You're like, do you, do you know what happened? I'm like, no, you never told me. <laughs> I'm sitting, like, waiting for you to come get me. And then you're like, you won. You won. You won. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, how did I win? Did I for shoot win? Like, I, and yes, they showed me my phone. Uh, it's very low five figures what I won. <laughs> yeah. $9 yeah. into five figures. Yes. I'm going to get into sports and gambling because of this. <laughs> That's insane. I don't know this. No, I didn't gambling. know that was possible. I'm going to bet on wrestling. I'm going to bet on everything possible. That's All insane. Right. If you left a voicemail, you need to bet on whether or not your voicemail gets played. There you go. I'll, I'll, it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get it on that action. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you take me to Disney World? Well... <laughs> It was the most insane thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And I have a bunch of DGen friends who, who gamble all the time. And I took a screenshot of your payout, and they thought it was like Photoshop. They were just like, you're full of shit. Tell them to get good. Yeah, just why don't you just 
Just pick 11 it's games easy. correctly. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Congratulations, Jeff. Yeah, Jones. it was nuts. Unfucking yeah. believable. Well, I worked so hard at it, you know? <laughs> Right, and he hasn't paid for shit since he's That's been right. here. Right, hell yeah. Uh, let's go to Mike Minotti for the next voicemail. Oh. Okay. Mike Minotti. Sure. I think you have to pick one. Oh, yeah. What? Like, re- oh, glasses. You ever been on the show? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, uh, Mickey. Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. You, you, you needed me to say I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Brian from Kirish. Um, I want to know if the Mickey Mouse in Disney is that shoot Mickey Mouse or is that work Mickey Mouse because it's a guy in a suit but it's like the official guy in a suit so would he be shoot Mickey Mouse or would he be work Mickey Mouse because he's a guy in a suit yeah. that Mickey Mouse is just as real as the one who is a drawing that is projected what? on your TV so no <laughs> wait what no it's oh. not but oh, not for shoot like it's a dude in a suit right what like, the, yeah you know, of course can you please Mickey speak Mouse? English yeah That's what Mickey. the fuck are you talking about yeah just say whether it's real yeah. or not. Yeah. I don't need shoot snakes and ladders, none of that shit. <laughs> Thank you, real, Tam. Not real. Wouldn't it be easier if I just got you into wrestling? <laughs> no. I've been there. <laughs> you have? I have been yeah, there. Yeah, Tam in the, out. Yeah, he I got, got out. out. Oh, I oh you grew myself. up and became an adult. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I became an adult and started watching anime, okay? <laughs> yes. yes. But look, for a while they had like the Mickey that would blink and talk. Even they had to budget cut that. But still, it was so, it was extra real then. So extra true. When you meet Mickey Mouse on a cruise, yeah. like in your head, are you just thinking like, is any part of you acknowledging that like it's a dude in a suit, or are you just like Mickey? You brought me so much I joy. I would say about ninety percent of me is like Mickey Mouse. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Let's, let's unpack this a little. How bit. How do you explain Mickey Mouse? The real Mickey Mouse that you claim is in that suit, being in multiple different countries at the same well, time. They, they make sure you don't see him at the same place at the same time. No, this is no, no, no. Underground How do you explain him being? How do you explain him being in Florida, Japan, and Paris well, at I the never, same I, time? I haven't been in all those places at the same time. He's there though, <laughs> Mike. Yeah, when you be... play along with the joke, it's too sad to laugh at. <laughs> 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 no, look, I never. I said he's as real as like the drawing is. Mickey's never real, but he's also incredibly real. You he's the realist. A little kid walk up and give Mickey Mouse a hug with tears in his eyes, and you go. <laughs> and by little me, kid, Mickey's he means himself. <laughs> it's my okay. favorite wrestling promo. Follow up question. Yes. Follow up question. You talk about tears in your eyes. Yes. Have you cried in front of Mickey Mouse before? No, I'd be so embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> Mike, Mike, does this, okay, does this extend into theme park stuff? Like, if you go to Super Nintendo Land at, like, do you think that's Mario? No, they're not as good at the costumes over there. <laughs> that's pretty good costume. That's a guy in a suit. They have dead eyes. Wait, can I ask, when I went to, when my parents took me to Disney World, yeah. and they brought us into a room, and we were going to take pictures with the statue of Mickey Mouse, and we're like, okay, and we go up next to him, and then he jumped and scared, because there actually was a man in the suit. Yeah. What was that about? Why would he do that? What, why did you think it was a statue? Because my parents, and everyone told us it was a statue. They wanted him to scare us, as like, when I was like 12. It scared the shit out of us. Are you me. sure you were in Disney World? <laughs> were you like, yeah, well, at a Touch <laughs> County Fair or something? Okay. <laughs> we we were, might have been at Diet Disney World. My mom likes to save money, but I don't know. They just like, hey. Yeah. I think your parents played a, played a prank <laughs> on you. I don't know. It's possible. Yeah. Mickey's super shoot real. <laughs> but, like, Wait, do the shoot and the real cancel each other out? No. No, no. That's a double positive. That's just extra positive. <laughs> yeah. Are there any of the costumes that you think are, like, you can't suspend your disbelief? You know, some of them are just people, like Mary Poppins. That's just a lady. Mary, Mike, like a dress. I got news for you, Mike. Mike. <laughs> They're all people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. I'll save us from this. Uh, Jan Ochoa, it is your turn. Please choose a voicemail. Uh, chickens. Voicemail dump truck. It's uh, Alex, your friend. Um, I thought of a good question to ask you, and I really want you to think about it. Don't just like, don't just like answer it quick. Really give it thought because there's a lot of implications here. And um, I invite the audience in hall, whatever you're in, to think about this too. Would you rather, every time you get into a vehicle, any vehicle, have to fight a chicken, and it's a big chicken, to the death with your bare hands? No weapons, nothing. You just gotta like fist fight this chicken. It's really gonna come at you and it's big. Every time you get in a vehicle. Or would you rather once a year have to fight a gorilla with a broadsword? 
you know the day, so you could like ostensibly train for it. You know the day it's going to happen. You have a broadsword. The gorilla has a broadsword. Oh. So that's, <laughs> fist fight a chicken every time you get in a vehicle, or once a every year, time. fight a gorilla with a broadsword. It's a very strange question for a vegan to ask. It is. It is. <laughs> Yes. Okay. I muted myself. Uh, I think the answer is definitely the chicken thing because Ooh, right. you'd have to do it a lot getting into cars. It's like, be and you'd have to do it in Ubers and shit. Like yeah. that would suck. But I take no pleasure in this. But I think it would eventually become pretty easy to just get the move where you just kind of, you know, like <laughs> it's a big no gorilla all day. It's just too much what? Of you're gonna die I, with I the gorilla. I Wait actually drive. Yeah, a lot I drive of, all the like, time. Here. I drive constantly. The gorilla doesn't know how to use a sword. Are you but insane? it's a gorilla. What? Yeah, what? It's going to drop a sword and beat not, you to death. It's not wearing armor. Just no, get, no. And it's done. No, 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 oh, no. This no. guy. You are so wrong about this. You haven't, seen a, this. You haven't <laughs> seen a gorilla before. <laughs> yeah, <you> <laughs> this <laughs> is a lie. Too many that people gorilla. in gorilla costumes. Not enough real gorillas for you. <laughs> it's all the same to him. He's like playing Donkey Kong, and that's his impression of a gorilla. <laughs> Donkey Kong is pretty fucking Wait, scary. Yeah. Donkey Kong will rip your head off in an instant. I saw how Harambe went down. It was nothing. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Rip. Oh, look at Mr. Topical Chancel, Humor here. Man. Wow. What a relevant <laughs> yeah, joke. Wow. Rip from the headlines, Mike Minotti. <laughs> this was Jan's voicemail. Let's hear your answer. Uh, I would 100% fight the chicken. Of course yeah. you would. You get free food. Well. No, no, no. That was going to be my question. I mean, yeah, You're not going to eat the gorilla, Mike. The Don't say it. How'd you know? <laughs> what happens to the chicken? I mean, wait, try good wait, wait, wait. Wait, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Lucy. Yeah. Lucy, what, go ahead. What happens to all the chickens? Why? I would leave it in the car. But then that's going to smell. Well, no, no, no. I'm assuming because I don't drive a lot. I take Ubers and Lyfts and stuff. So it's like, hey, no, look. But it's I any car you get into, not your well, car. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want them in my car, but I mainly take rideshare stuff. So it's okay. like, eh, I don't got to yeah, deal with it. Like, you know? I don't He's got the lowest Uber Pre rating. Presumably. <laughs> like I'm not doing it now. <laughs> I don't want to get on the tube and just like, oh, there's no seats because there's a pile of chicken carcasses <laughs> on there. You know, like, they, Alex, you have not thought this question through. I have I, so many more questions. I would do that, keep them in the car, but then only do Uber share. Yeah. So other people have to get in with me. <laughs> right. <laughs> do that. I mean, it's a tip for yeah. the driver. Car pull it. it there. Yeah. Like, it's like, hey, I'm what? Chicken. I, I, I think y'all are forgetting Alex's qualifier. It is a big chicken. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not scary. Like, D have you seen Family Guy? <laughs> Shut up. You're no, not like, going. Here's the thing. You're not gonna die with a chicken. You're gonna die with the gorilla. No, yes. No, absolutely going to die. No, Mike. Bro, Mike, it would huge. break the sword in half. No, no. Dude, you will just upset the gorilla by stabbing it. No. Mike, right do you think heart. you can lift a broadsword? Yeah. <laughs> Could you lift a broadsword? No, because I can't. I'm that yeah. one distance. Uh, this is a good I, I question. Actually, we have some uh, Lord of the Rings replica swords when I was growing up. Cool. Yeah. Replica. The, the question they still were very stands. Heavy and unwieldy. I was very bad at using them. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. I'm like, I don't even think you could pick up the sword. Yeah. I could pick it up, and I was like, oh, that's heavy. Put it on his mantle, and I'm done with that forever. <laughs> He'd bite it with a keyblade or something. I do have <laughs> a keyblade. <laughs> All right, that's a different story. Yeah, that's then. a different story. <laughs> no, uh, so I, to your point, Lucy, like, how do, how are the chickens around? Like, are it's they just one big chicken? No, what, no, what, what? Each time. Right. No, I understand. Yeah. How are the chickens appearing in the vehicle? Are they just like spawning? Yes. Ha. No, that's no. That's what I'm imagining. I'm asking this for. I think they're sleeping in the back seat, and once the car is moving, they wake up. <laughs> that is the worst explanation of all. They, they only attacking. wake up if one of us gets in the car. But like, no. But how did they get into the car? Because I'm asking this. Drop chicken. <laughs> because once they're dead, maybe they just sort of like blink and leave in the no, same way they you came. You deal with it. It's your problem. Yeah, they, they de-res. Yeah. <laughs> they de-res. All right. Uh, I'm glad we all agree on that. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Steve. Right, from your team, girl, raise your hand, please. That's wow, no one is raising their hand. What was the five question? Was five, five people. Five. Ashley was on Team Gorilla. It was not me. It was five people. <laughs> it was five I people who have never seen a gorilla. I actually count because there's only five of them. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's a gorilla that's going to kill six <laughs> people very easily. <laughs> oh, the suburban gorilla problem is an issue, Mike. You're the right. suburban gorilla problem. That'd be a good name Wait, for something. <laughs> time out. I, I know, Grub, you'll be able to speak to this. You too, Mike. Yeah. Maybe you. What would you rather have to deal with? A gorilla or, like, a herd of deer? A herd? Yeah. I, 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 go on a, I go skipping through the woods every morning, and there's always a herd of deer out there. Okay. Never pro they've no, but, like, these are aggressive deer looking find, to harm you. Define deal with. Yeah. 
You you heard what I said. <laughs> they're they're calling you names, Mike. <laughs> I, I, okay. I get along with deer. I think I would definitely go with the deer thing. You. That's not the question. It's either Listen, you or them. Look, I have approached deer with handfuls of like stale snacks and stuff, and they'll come up to me and eat them out of my like. I get along with deer. Great. Oh, you should not be doing that. Like, if that's for real, you should not be doing that. No, there's a thing like you can do it with like old snacks and stuff. There's like places like in Pennsylvania and stuff where they're really nice, and they'll just eat. Are you just describing a zoo? He's describing a zoo. No, no. There's this mythical <laughs> place where you can it's go so see great. animals. And <laughs> there's just, places where deer aren't afraid of humans, and you can just be like, hey, come here, buddy. You know. Dude, it's like I went to the zoo. <laughs> I get along with animals great. Wonderful. Uh, it's my turn to choose a voicemail. I'm going to lean over because I can't read the monitor. Uh, let's do uh, butt cheeks. Oh, great. Ever think about like if our butt cheeks were horizontal instead of vertical? Oh my. Can we play that again? <laughs> I do First think of about all, that. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. <laughs> you would have to focus on the bottom white so much more. I need, I need to hear oh, it again. We're, we're going to play this three times then. I mean, it's only five seconds. Did you guys ever think about, like, if our butt cheeks were horizontal instead of vertical? <laughs> oh, like a fax machine. <laughs> like a credit card sweat. I feel like it's it wouldn't it shouldn't be possible because I'm trying to think about how to throw it back and you can't throw it back if it's like horizontal, you know? Right. No. Yeah. Or yeah. no, but wouldn't they would talk better. Would yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Make it clap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would cl- it, it wouldn't be clapping, it'd be like flapping. Flapping, right. Mm. Mm-hmm. I feel like sitting would be better. No, no, well, unless no, you're no. like one of those bars. You, you could never yeah. lean on anything ever again. Oh, yeah. Because oh. you would just envelop. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. the corner of a bench or whatever. Yeah, just go no. right. Oh, that'd yeah. be like a Pac Man situation. Wait a minute. You couldn't side saddle. Yeah. Oh. Would underwear have to be like a belt? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Underwear. <laughs> Imagine a thong on a horizontal. It's fucked up. Yeah. I will say, much better coverage if you're farting and you're trying to crop dust someone. I think it would flap more. I think farts would be louder. Yeah, but you'd get a good, like, Wait, spray. I don't think we're thinking spray. about this the right way. What about the kind tank? Of farts are you having? I'm doing the good farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Mike Minotti, what about the taint? What about the taint? The what? No. The taint. Oh. The no. taint's gone. The taint's gone in this no, situation. But, no, 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 no. There's a bigger taint now. No, 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 There's no. There's more surface area before Your the hips become too. taints. Yes, because the hole's not moving. It's just, it's just a horizontal <laughs> thing. Yeah, okay. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to need some pictures. Can someone draw me something to get a good look at this? <laughs> pull pull, pull up MS Paint. Pull up MS Paint. Paint. <laughs> just, just Google sideways butt crack. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. No, 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 don't do that. Yeah. No, whoa. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Does okay. the toilet situation have to change much? Is the bowl shape fine? You, the, you just sit the other way. Oh, that's yeah. weird. <laughs> I think I think a uh, toilet would be like more like getting on a horse. Yeah, than you gotta it would sit be, side yeah. saddle on the toilet. Yeah, yeah we're doing good work. Yeah. I think I think my dad's watching this. I'm sorry I didn't become a doctor. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, because then you'd have the answer to this question. Right. Yeah. The, the, the sideways butt problem. Yeah. So I search for sideways butt crack. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. oh wow. Whose butt is this? What's is that? that a hole? <laughs> oh my god. All right, like, Jens. Okay. Putting together two oval shapes. So this is like your shoot butt, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we take this, and then right, it's uh, like that. Yeah. I think bidets, bidets would be more of like a lawn sprinkler style, where it's like <laughs> yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 mind map this out together. Are you looking for the brown color? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, all right. Keep, we, you can keep talking. Do you need a, no, I want to watch this. Do you need a mouse? No. I'm just, <laughs> do you have a mouse on you? What, what do you mean keep talking? Do you have a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> okay, so here's like the, the, the toilet water, right? Okay. And then... Oh, okay. Uh, are we... Okay, no, we're side-saddling the toilet, so then the bidet has to go this way. Oh. Right? Yeah. I don't like it. No? I think we should keep butts the way they are. <laughs> Wow. And if I'm like, elected, I'm going to make sure it stays that Mike way. Mike Bonatti, 2024. Yeah. Amen, brother. No horizontal butt cheeks. <laughs> Taking the important stands on the voicemail dump truck. Dan Reichert. Yes. It's your turn. Uh, I can't read any of that. So there's let's say there's the a fifth. screen behind you. Just pick a number. Can't really see that. That's let's go with was. five. Let's go with the fifth one day. One, two, three, four, five. DT, it's your boy ABC. So the first time I ever had energy drinks, 
I had made mistakes. I, I wasn't feeling it. I cranked one. I was like, oh, this ain't shit. So then I cranked four more. So it was 8 a.m. the next day, and I felt like I would never sleep again. So what's the biggest food or drink mistake you've ever made? Okay, I don't think my parents are watching this, thank God. But I uh, went to a music festival, and I partook in some edible uh, treats. And then I thought, oh, this isn't hitting. This is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I took two more. I woke up and came back to, on a lawn, listening to Lionel Richie in the dark. <laughs> I looked at my credit card statement afterwards. I bought five chicken parm sandwiches. <laughs> tiki tiki parm parm. Separate times. <laughs> Aww. You like tipped and everything? No. Aww. Yeah, that's I, fucked up. I think it was... Probably 2011 at PAX East, uh, it was, I'd starting to get to know the Giant Bomb guys and stuff, and I kind of was getting the sense of like, eh, I think I'd like to work here at some point. And so it was after like a panel thing, uh, they were like, hey, do you want to go out and get some Chinese food? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So I'm out there, with Gerstmann, Patrick, Shoemaker, Scanlon, all of them. And like, I don't really know them that well. And so I'm trying to like, you know, impress and stuff. Been on the Bombcast a couple times, kind of want to work there and stuff. And they brought out this meal that had, I guess there was a pepper on the side of the thing that is not supposed to be edible at all. Like, just by being in proximity of this pepper, it's supposed to make all your food extremely spicy. It was like garnish, you mean? Like I don't, yeah, I don't, know what it, I don't know why I was supposed to know that you're not supposed to eat it, but I just like, bah, just ate, like I mixed it in with the thing and I ate it. And like, I turned to a Brian Shea, who's currently a game informer, and he was like, you didn't eat that, did you? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, the, seeing his face drop, and I was like, what's gonna happen? And then instantly, my entire <laughs> face is just burning. I'm having pain on my tongue like I've never had. And I spent the entire meal, like I ran to the bathroom of the restaurant and just stuck my tongue out under the faucet. Wasn't fixing anything. I spent like 40 minutes in the bathroom just in severe pain while I'm trying to like impress the giant bomb guys, you know? It's uh, just a regular week for Dan Ricker yeah. there. <laughs> uh, I'm, everyone knows mine. One time I ate so many sunflower seed shells. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, go on, go on, please go on, yeah. please go on. No, no, yeah. That, that's the end of the story. My butthole stopped working. Do you remember I, like, put, I heard about that second hand and I like, put it together? Yeah, we have yeah. a clip of you. Yeah, you're in our Discord. We press a button. It's, uh, it's Jeff Bagler saying, it's funny he ate so many sunflower <laughs> seeds. His butthole stopped working. Yeah. yeah. Horizontal <laughs> style or vertical? It, uh, my, uh, they had to make it horizontal to fix it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> a rough operation. Yeah, exactly. We'll go, go we'll go. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, I liked uh, fish and chips. British, obviously, love fish and chips, and I really like vinegar. Oh. A lot. When I was a kid, I liked vinegar a lot. So I was like, oh, I get a chip, dunk it in the vinegar, great. The more vinegar is on the chip, the better it tastes. So I was like, I'm just gonna basically soak all of these in vinegar, and then one by one eat them. What could go wrong? And let me tell you, man, don't do that. <laughs> I finished that plate of chips, and then an ambulance was called. And like, they like put me in a stretcher and took me to the hospital and they were like, you fucking pickled your insides. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't breathe. What? I thought I was gonna die because I had a very bad plate of fish and chips. Oh, Yo, so many metal. British people have died this pretty way. hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been such a sad way to die. Isn't it? Delicious though. Yeah. Yeah. It's very British. <laughs> this may surprise you, but I have a few of these. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to you. I, wanna, I don't have any, so I'm just like, go, Dan Luke, can go. I have none. Wait, does uh, Manati, do you have one? No, I only eat things that are good. What's that? I only eat things that are good. That's debatable. Except for the birria ramen I had today. Oh, my God. I don't know if anyone else had the birria ramen from the convention center. You're not allowed to evoke Mexican food like that and just not season anything. It was just ground <laughs> Take them down, Mike. The yeah. juice with yeah. the noodles in it. That's there right. No salt. We're coming for you. <laughs> absolutely. And, like, you get to the soup part, it was just, like, fatty, and it was, like, you're slurping, just, like, grease. Oh, uh, bad. But then... Salted caramel lobster roll. Uh, yeah, I mean, they really <laughs> turned it what around. A rebound. There. Save the day. <laughs> I have one, uh, and then we can, I want to hear like the three or four that you probably have after. Um, it was when I was dating uh, Stacy. We were first Who's going. Stacy? Stacy's my, my wife. My wife. My wife. Right, good job. Uh, we were at a diner, uh, and it was one of the first meals that I had with her parents. I don't know why it occurred to me. I was just like, I'm, I'm looking at the menu. Uh, diner menu in New Jersey is like a small novel, so you got to really look through a lot of stuff. And I picked like chicken scampi. 
I was like, oh, well, yeah, I know. I know. It comes out, and it smells real good. It's like, you know, pretty garlic forward as scampi is, and I'm just going to town on it, and I love garlic, and I'm not thinking twice about how much garlic I'm consuming. And I finish the entire plate, I'm like wiping it up with bread, I'm really going to town on this thing. It was probably like five o'clock, and we went to a movie after. During the movie, everyone starts to like, in my row, like everyone's just like, smell like garlic in here? <laughs> smell like Someone smell like garlic in this room? Her parents would say, like, why does your boyfriend smell like fucking garlic? <laughs> and it was coming out of, like, my pores. No, I've been there too, dude. Oh. It was oozing out of, like, every little skin that was exposed to the world. It was the most embarrassing thing. And what do I do? I was like, do I move back into the row where, like, no one else is? It was humiliating. Uh... And that lasted like three days. <laughs> I smelled like garlic for three days. That, that wouldn't be a problem in my family. Yeah. That's just like a sign of good Italian living. That's They're like, normal. marry this boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, uh, us. In college, I loved Kraft macaroni and cheese so oh. much. And what yeah. about now? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of gone down in quality. You're above it now? Still, no, no, it's still really good. But I, I loved it back then. And it's like a dollar per box. And I realized I loved the, like, you know, the powder so much, like the cheese powder. So I put way too much you know, cheese, way too much butter in it. And I was like, wait, why don't I just buy three boxes, because they're like a dollar each, and I'll throw the noodles away for two of them and just take the cheese pouches. And so I made like a triple Kraft mac and cheese, like, and the whole thing. So it's probably like fucking 2,500, 3,000 calories of macaroni and cheese. I did this right, this is like my pregame for the bar one night in college. Oh my God. So I'm in Lawrence, Kansas, I go down to the bar, get my first beer, get halfway through the beer, I just look at my friends, and I'm like, I gotta go. I run to the bathroom, this shitty bathroom, and uh, just puked the most <laughs> Nickelodeon orange. <laughs> just, you know the logo, the splat? It was just, that was at my feet, basically. Uh, yeah, so I All stopped right. doing that. Dan, you, you like to say that maybe I'm weirder than you, but I heard a story recently that was food related. Is this true that you spent a whole season? Eating nothing but like mini wiener dogs filled with cheese out of a shoebox. <laughs> what? They weren't mini wiener dogs. <laughs> okay, I mean you're mostly you right. You're mostly right. Out of a yes. shoebox. It was, you know, Oscar Mayer made the cheese dogs where it's like the cheese is baked into the yeah. dogs. So yeah, I didn't want to spend money on paper plates because they were expensive. And so there was a summer. There was like three months where I was like, I'm gonna save some money. I just got some shoes or something. And so, I, I mean, the shoes were, the box was clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I take out a new pair of sneakers, I'm like, oh, look, I made a plate. But I was like, oh, well, because, like, here's the thing. Hot dogs roll, and so it's like the, the walls of the shoe box would contain it. And so I would just throw, like, I would, <laughs> right, can't argue with that. I would throw three cheese dogs in there with, like, no paper towel. So this got filthy. Oh, um, oh you reused it. Uh, I, oh, I reused it for a summer. Yeah, and so I would microwave it, and like you know, the cheese would spurt out. And, what did, you know, what did like, it look like at the end? A crime scene, like at the end of the summer? It was real bad, but I figured it was like sanitary. Like it wasn't like. Well, you That's said not the word. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like dangerous. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right. I've grown up a lot. Stop, real quick. Show of hands. <laughs> Who's weird? Okay, is Mike weirder than Dan? Put your no. hands up. No. No. Okay, no. one back there. It no. seems like it's not one. one. Put your hands up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the crowd seems pretty split. No. Did they? Almost it's everyone. It's unanimous. No. Every, every day I am more and more shocked that you are alive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me too. Like, you're so lucky <laughs> to crazy. have been born yeah. in a time with modern medicine. <laughs> I, I'm, like, mostly normal now. <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's I think so... Compared to college me, yes. Okay. No, I think that's charitable at best. Like, no. <laughs> okay, another one in college was... <laughs> I went to KFC, and I love the famous bowl so much. I would go in, and I would tell them, like, Hey, I want you to put extra cheese on it to the point that you think it's too much cheese and then put another handful on. And that was always awesome. And then I did it like, well, that's not even the, the weird no. story. And I was like, one is good. What if I did two that way? And I love, I've talked about fast food for so long. And everyone's like, ooh, you like Taco Bell? You're going to shit your pants. I've never shit my pants. I've never had diarrhea from Taco Bell. Not once. Oh. The one time I had a poop incident from fast food was this. I went to the Famous Bowl, or the KFC. I did the extra cheese gimmick. Had two of them and spent like six hours in and out of the bathroom just shitting my brains out. <laughs> Only time it's ever given me diarrhea. Cool. Wow. Cool's the word. Cool. Yeah. Cool's Sweet. the word. Yeah. <laughs> Moving.
Uh, we, we got less than 25 minutes to, to more Hussein, man. please. I can build 25 minutes with We you. heard how. Um, uh, you're going to hate it. What? Is it one called You're Going to Hate It? You're Going to Hate It? Yes. Anybody that's a dad that's got younger kids, when you get older, your kids are going to turn into you and you're going to hate it. How do you deal with your kids becoming you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. This is you with Dib tackling people in hockey, right? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to get upset about that, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I have to answer this, <laughs> Grub. I mean, yeah, like all the shitty parts of you, like that, like when you see that, them like exhibit those characteristics, like, okay, I have a lot of ADHD, like the most, and uh, that means like I always had doing stuff like cleaning my room was like a big pain. And so now when I ask Addy to like do anything similar to that and it's just like immediate meltdown, I'm like, oh, it's, it's me again. I messed up here. This yeah. is just me in a kid form again. Uh, there, there's nothing to do except feel sad. I found so no, there you go. No, I think like, uh, you know, my kid's getting a little older and he, he's, becoming, he's becoming kind of a piece of shit, right? And sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slick back hair. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sloppy steaks, you know. Uh, Slop him up. <laughs> And I'm starting to see him do a lot of like my facial mannerisms back at me. And I'm just like, yeah. what, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah. Shoulder check him. <laughs> and, um, I, think, I think that's honestly like the, the toughest thing is like looking into a bit of a mirror. Yep. And that mirror is like, you're old, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> that mirror is like, I don't have to listen to you, mm -hmm. bitch, you know? Uh, so there's nothing you can really do, it's gonna happen. I don't know if I've turned into my dad, though, so I guess he doesn't have to really deal with that in the way I do. Yeah. Dan, how are you going to deal with your child when you discover a shoebox full of Oscar Mayer wiener? <laughs> yeah. I am super not having a kid. <laughs> no, that, that's <laughs> when, not happening. That's when you bond and you're like, like oh, me that. too. <laughs> I've spent the last 30 years trying not to turn into my dad. I don't need to repeat that with a son. Yeah. Fair. Backlar, though, he's a lot like your dad, we've discovered. Backlar yeah. has a lot in common with my dad. Yeah, Paul Record, Backlar. That's not okay. <laughs> That's not okay. I am not like your father. We're going to settle this right here and Why right now. start this? Huh? Something with clam chowder or something at that Irish place? What was Ex it? Okay, uh, the other night, I forget where we were, and you said to me, you, you did the whole, like, ah, you know what, Backlar? Like, say, say what happened. I don't remember. Clam chowder was involved? <laughs> I, I, honestly, he asked you for an example, I and mean, even then you're like, I can't think of anything, but I'll tell you no, what something this, happens. General, like, some broad generalization, strong no, 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 opinion. I think, no, the only thing in common was just being disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> the right people laugh for that. To be honest, like, that's too far. <laughs> and we're like, ha ha, get him. <laughs> no, I like you a little bit. All right, like um, a little bit. Lucy James, it is your turn. Oh, hello. I can't, I also can't read. Uh, I forgot my glasses. Uh, let's go three up from the bottom. One, two, three. That's, that's four. That's four. It would be a good name to replace voicemail dump truck. One more time, one more time. A name to replace. So, what do you think would be a good name to replace voicemail dump truck? Mike Minotti's very oh, special Jesus. questions for him. No. Okay. Uh, is this a name of a, I don't know why after he asked this, I immediately thought in my head, and I think this is a name of a podcast, but I thought, Come Town. Yeah, yeah Come Town is a podcast. That's, that's yeah, a podcast. Name of a podcast. Yeah, Come Town is a podcast. We can't take that? No, no it's taken. Come it's Town 2. It's way too popular to take. Yeah. 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 Come I, Town 2. Come Town. I'm so sorry, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Minotti. Dr. Minotti. Doc, I, I said doctor. I'm sorry. He didn't go to medical school for seven years to hear me say, come down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what a, I, I want to say, like, uh, when we were figuring out to do the show, we threw out other name suggest. Like, there were things on the table, right? I'm sure we did. I don't have that doc laying around. No. no. Do you remember? I don't think I was here when this podcast yeah, started. That was a Ben yeah, Pack no. joint, right? What's yeah, that? That's a ben that was thing. a Ben Pack joint. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 but, but uh, yeah, well, Ben... Uh, you know, it was the aftermath era, right? Yes. But when we s said we were going to try and do this again, there were other names. I don't oh, think we were ever yeah. considering calling it aftermath, right? No. Yeah. So I'm saying there were like other names yeah, yeah. on the on the docket. I don't remember. I love naming things. It's fun to name things. Did you guys like have kids just to name them? Because that seems like the best part. God, I mean, anything that crawls up in your head, wrong. it's just like. Uh, yeah. 
Like, it's like I'm going to name a person, and yeah. just, they're going to deal with that for a while unless they want to have to go to a court. I, fe- I felt very powerful. Yes, absolutely. It's a big moment. Yeah. yeah. Big, okay. All right. It can be fun to name something and then figure out what it would be. Like, Steal My Sunshine was that, because I was thinking about Mario Sunshine. It's like, oh, wait, that could be a game. Sure, you're stealing each other. And then I came up with the gumball gimmick and all that stuff. So that could oh, be fun. Somebody gave me a good one for the Conquer thing, because he couldn't think of it. The, the Great Conquer Caper. Ca- uh? Caper. That's Caper. Good. Conquer, like stealing. Conquer Caper. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, it no. sounds like that Muppet movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think we have any other suggestions for that. What else can we call the show? I like Boys Mill Dump. Yeah. It's, it's describing yeah. exactly what it is. It rolls off the tongue pretty easy. Yeah, and yeah. you can never confuse Dump with anything else, and I no. think that's perfectly no. fine. Uh, we're going back around to Jeff Grubb. You're at it. Yeah, let's do Over the Top. Can you read that from there? I took a picture question. of it and zoomed Should in. Should toilet paper go over the top or underneath the back? All right, so the most important question. Is your toilet paper go over the top or underneath that's, the back? There, oh, this, this, is, there is, this is not a subjective thing. What was that? It's, I, I, it's, it's, it, wait, 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 it's, it's toilet, toilet, toilet paper. paper. When you put it on the roll, does oh. it come over like the yeah, over the top. back side? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Does anyone think it goes out the back side? No. Only because I'm a contrarian. I would oh, but oh, I'm a, no, no, I know. No. I don't do it. Yes, hiss. Hiss at him. Boo him. Yeah. But I've had this conflict with myself, and if I accept it, I'm a piece of shit, so I just do it the normal way now. Is there anyone in you the audience and my son is yeah. under? <laughs> no one in the audience no, is under? This is universal truth. Okay, yeah. cool. One person. One person. There's the door. <laughs> wow. That one person works at every hotel in the world. <laughs> More people haven't seen a gorilla. <laughs> uh, Minati, you're up. How's Giant Bomb? How's Giant Bomb going? And who's your favorite community manager in Giant Bomb Mystery? <laughs> I say that not knowing if Nikki is actually a community manager. Right? No, no, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a picture of that and tweet at him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Jeff's face. Mark is so happy. Because it's Matt Rory. Uh, right, and I guess that means like f- real quick favorite Matt Rory story. Real quick. Oh. Real, yeah. no, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I didn't work, I, Matt and I didn't work together that much, but my favorite thing about Matt Rory is uh, whenever he would come into like a Zoom meeting, he would like figure out a way to work in his dog into oh, the act, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like especially in front of like complete strangers who had never met him before. And I'm like, all right, you know, you got pets, I got it, pets, everyone's got pets. It was always really fun. Like it would be like escalating scenarios where the dog is getting into more and more hijinks. Yeah, and, and it would be like <laughs> in the middle of a really important meeting. I gotta go. My dog's eating his own shit. And it's like gone. It's gone. And then like next meeting will be I gotta go. My dog is uh, in the eating ketchup or some shit like that. Or it's like, my dog is wearing my underwear. I gotta go. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What is this dog, man? He, he, would, uh, he would be uh, like talking about some, you know, not relatively important, but just sort of like in the middle of a sentence and instantly enter like, oh, hello there, yeah. little doggy. And you're like, what? All during, right. during the summer in San Francisco, uh, he would ride his bike to work across like the Bay Bridge. And it'd be like, you know, San Francisco doesn't, doesn't get too hot, but that's like a, a decent ride. He would come in and I've never, it's like he just like, You'd be drier if you just jumped into a swimming pool. He would be the sweatiest man that's ever lived. And I think he, we had showers at the office. And I think we, he, did, he, we did, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Remember when he farted? Which when time? He... Farted? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the couch, and you were like, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Jen, Jen, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Which time? I love Matthew Rory. I don't know why we both thought, it's, yeah, it'll be a good idea to stream 24 hours. Let's start at midnight. <laughs> and then, like, 30 minutes in, I'm looking at Matt. I'm like, we fucked up. Uh, and then he proceeds to, uh, if y'all have seen the clip, uh, we're all kind of zonked out of our minds, both of us, and uh, rips the loudest fart in the world. <laughs> and then, wow. Do you think horizontal butt cheek farts would be louder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we already yeah. did yeah. that. Yeah, we had that conversation. Established. We could test this. Do you remember when we did the Bombathon in Brooklyn? And oh, Rory yeah, was I was, like, was going to Yeah, Lucy's got a good one for this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which, which time? Do both of them. When he was wearing the robe, sitting on the, the robe floor. one yeah, was good. Yeah, the rest good. of us are just screaming, kind of a little bit drunk, and Matt just comes in wearing a full robe, and he's just picked up a copy of the New York Times, and he just... <laughs> and he, like, on squats the floor, on the floor, and he's just, like, reading. But... But then the best one is when at about 2 a.m. he goes, I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to go. So does anyone want anything? Takes an order, leaves. Comes back maybe 40 minutes later. 
and he's, he's had an adventure and he wants to, he's clearly seen some things. And I'm like, what have you seen? He's like, well, I went past this car and there was a guy watching two people, two, two dudes, was it? Two dudes. Two dudes having sex and then this guy just starts jacking it. Yeah. And then, doesn't he, didn't he invite yeah, he invited Rory, Rory to into yeah. the car. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then he just went, "No thanks, man. I, I got to go pick up my nuggets." And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, picks up the McDonald's and brings it back, and he just tells us the story with just like, "Yeah." Fine. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for so Matt Rory. Matt Rory. <laughs> Matt Rory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that your turn? Uh, dollar menu. So oh, real quick, in this economy, because I like economies and such, why did McDonald's get rid of the dollar menu? <laughs> <laughs> why did he look so mischievous at the end? <laughs> He's like, I got away Because it was his it. fault. The guy was supposed to him. <laughs> uh, shout out to that guy, by the way, because we were genuinely using him as a way to find each other on the show floor yesterday. <laughs> there was a point in the Discord where I said, we're by the, the, the tall hat, and Grub just I replies, Oh my god, I see it. <laughs> yeah, it was like five seconds later, I just turned to the left and saw it. I'm like, oh, there they are. Yeah. The McDonald's dollar menu used to be really good. You'd get like the, the double cheeseburger. The McDouble. The, small, the McDouble, the small fry, like a four piece nugget. It was pretty decent. They kind of went away. Taco Bell, it's not a dollar menu anymore. I think they're kind of the leaders in this. Because like Arby's doesn't do the five for five anymore. No. Taco Bell, like, okay, so a quesadilla has gotten expensive. A chicken quesadilla will be like six or seven dollars sometimes. I'll still get them. It's really best fast food. Got a lot of talks about fast food. Yeah. This is his dissertation. <laughs> but uh, the stacker, the new thing, they did this new like cravings menu at Taco Bell, and the stacker is just a quesadilla that they just fold over, but it's got like more cheese on it. So it's almost like better than the quesadilla, oh, but it's like obviously. half the price. So the stacker is the thing, and like, this new cravings menu is all cheap things that are like a dollar sixty nine basically, and they're all super good. Yeah, uh, no, nobody has a dollar menu anymore, right? You could get that mm -hmm. Costco hot dog, I guess, for cheap still. But everybody... Dan, have you ever thought about you've eaten too much cheese in your life? <laughs> I get like blood tests and stuff, and it seems okay. What They're like, yep, you will have uh, you have cheese in your veins. <laughs> what like That's what he's going for. Me, you know? yeah. <laughs> the blood test is like, yep, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> positive for cheese. Oh, positive. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's all looking like weirdly okay. Same with my dad. My dad, like, as bad as my diet is, my dad's is easily ten times worse. And he'll go in, and he's 60, he'll go in and get a blood test and stuff, and I'll be like, yeah, cholesterol, everything, yeah, you're looking good. And I don't know what the fuck's going on genetically, but we're okay. Hmm. We should send uh, you to good. space. <laughs> it's good. Not bring him back, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, caller. Let me just lean over here. Uh, let's do one of your coworkers, please. Thanks, Jan. What? Uh, dump truck. The only question I have is a cheesy one. What is something you love about one of your coworkers? Aww. All right. Should we just go down the line? Yeah, I think we should. Just start with me. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> um, uh, I like that Jeff Bacalar does all the work, so we could do all the other stuff. <laughs> he does the like adult business work, and we just get uh -huh. the assholes. Yeah, I really like seriously love that. You're keep doing it. Shout yeah. outs to you, Jeff. Yeah, keep keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, yay for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice of you to say thanks. Uh, I like I like when Dan calls me Mitch. <laughs> I'll admit it. I don't know. I've read comments and I heard it's mean and bullying. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to be like, no, you don't have to be mad for me. I like it. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, I appreciate Lucy's organizational skills. Oh yeah, yeah. it's powerful. I it's see powerful some. Stuff. I see her calendar, and it terrifies me. It's color coded. <laughs> Oh, I guess I have to go. Yeah. Uh, I like Moore's honesty with me. I don't like you. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. It's good. Uh, Jan's entire uh, demeanor and, and calmness in the face of things. Like, I can't tell you how many times something is coming in hot, or I've forgotten something he's told me 8,000 times, and I'm asking him to slack it to me, like how to stream to the website. Or just like the first Black Club's going live, and like, you know, it's like, oh, do you have that thing? Like, you. You always, in the face of any kind of stress or things being on fire at the last second, just cool as a cucumber. Always. It's a mess in here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I like that Dan is willing to put out a version of himself that is uh, as entertaining as possible 
when actually he is easily one of the smartest people I've ever known, especially when it comes to like ideas mm. and uh, acumen in making things entertaining and production and that kind of stuff. He's been working in this industry a long time and you guys don't see it, but behind the scenes, like that experience is being put to good use. Yo, and, like, he's actually. Incredibly smart. Woo! Woo! You're very welcome. Thank you. I, I, I want to echo off that. At dinner last night, Dan pulls out of a folder a run of show that he printed out. And then I was so impressed. Yep. <laughs> it's so cool. That I printed something? No, just like, holy shit, you typed all of this out. You got yeah. this timed out. He only made one copy for himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's controlled chaos. That's the key. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love uh, Grubs just energy like i, I, I gotcha. can't believe you st you stream so much you are working behind the scenes getting guests you somehow manage to stay on top of everything in the industry and you always just bring such a strong energy every time you're alive and yeah. uh i know i love streaming with you because you always improve my day that you're the speech. only good one lucy Woo! thank you yeah. that speech that he at the end of it where he says like you're the best audience in video gaming he genuinely means oh. that and oh. like when you see him say it you're like, wow, he really gives a shit about this. The Game Mess Mornings is incredible. The part before when I'm like, I said I had a good time talking to you, that's a lie. But <laughs> he really means it when he says, hello, YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I no, no one said anything about me. Yeah, that was on purpose. Uh, you're not you're one not of our co coworkers. We love oh, you. <laughs> I guess I did make my nice thing about Dan about me. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's we covered you, yeah. <laughs> we were at okay. dinner, and Mitch pulled out fucking Disney cards and like started doing an unboxing and it was he said the most insane thing I told yeah. you about that my I ultra ever rare, heard like, he's like he opened a pack pulled out a card and it was one of the fucking dogs from <laughs> one of the and he's like oh this is great I've been trying to build a 101's Dalmatian deck I was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Well, if you have 101 Dalmatians, you can make a deck with them, because you have to have a minimum of 60 Oh, cards. no, we get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we... Is Cruella like a hard counter to this deck? Oh, she should be. I... I'm going to say something nice Disney. about Mike. Um, Mike, I love that you are so passionate about something, yeah. even though it's Disney, and we take the piss out of you for it all the time, but I love that you still have mm. that happiness and optimism and passion for it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This it's true. It's for compliments, everybody. <laughs> Come. While, we're, while we're glazing each other, should we do the giant bomb... <laughs> Should we do the giant bomb gift yeah. exchange? Right, we talked about what? this. Everyone had to get gifts for each other. It was Secret yeah. Santa. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got mine. I got mine. Jan, I got you something. Do you know what the hell and I'm talking about? Uh, and I want to say thank don't. you because I left it at the bar last night and you got it for me. <laughs> there it is. What is it? Oh, it's a little Chinese handheld. Hell yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. I mean, the Pokemon were on there. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, Jeff Grubb, I got you a gift receipt, and I hope there's a mall near you. Oh, all right. Uh, you have never owned a pair of Crocs. I've never. But I know that you go skipping, or not skipping, you go out into the forest a lot lately. And I, well, yeah, and I skip there, but yes, I go to the forest a lot. <gasps> so I thought, what better way for you to blend in and terrify people than with a pair of forest camo Crocs? Yeah. Wow! Dude. Wow! He's gonna look really good with the Kirby gibbets that ABC got me. Hell yeah! Yeah. Hey, back. I think there's like three pieces left in that. <laughs> Actually, then can I have one? Some <laughs> you go, pal. Oh, thanks, buddy. Just trying to regift some jerky over here. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot we were doing this bit. Yeah, well, that's the bit. Oh, yeah, the, just me and Jack got stuff yeah. for each okay. other. They, they're trying to make us feel bad. Yeah, because I'm sweating over here. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Grub. Is, is that the right, like, f woods uh, footwear? Is that like... Yeah, this will blend in. Dude, yeah? Okay. I, yeah. I have got way into Crocs recently. Yeah. Like, an alarming degree. First of all, I've got these gray Crocs, which I got Where'd gibbets go? for. Where'd Mike go? You can buy things called gibbets. I don't yeah. know if you know about these. Yeah, they're charms. I've got just yeah. like Elden Ring characters in my Crocs. It's really good. I've got, I've got, I bought a pair of slides, Croc slides, that are made to look like a basketball and now I've started buying crocs for other people in my friend circle to slowly convert them into the crocs cause. I gave it to like two of my friends and they're like, yeah, you're right, it's pretty sick. I like, I like this. So I'm very crocs pilled. 
It's wonderful, wonderful story. Found a man in his Crocs. Uh, <laughs> you're up, Dan Reichert. Uh, third one down. Um, how do you guys feel about kind of the parasocial relationships in, in the space now with digital content creation? Love it. Yeah, I love them. Same. It's all awesome. It makes fun. me feel better about myself. Mm -hmm. you, are you okay? <laughs> I'm trying to think how to answer. I think a lot of people don't understand kayfabe. <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah. me. I don't understand it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, well, that is true. Like, we are working a lot of the time. It's because it's mean, fun for us. Anytime you're on a microphone or in front of a camera, it right. is a version of you that you're putting out right. for the entertainment purpose. Well, no, you're, this right. is what you're it's really fun. like. It's not some big, like, intentional thing, like, I'm going to be a phony today. No. It's just like, you know, when the camera's on, you just kind of naturally ham things up a bit. A well, yeah, little. like, I mean, that's the reason, like, when we, when we do those games, like the Mario Kart thing, and I'm, like, gambling away all my points because I'm trying to keep it interesting. Mm -hmm. I want to keep it dramatic right. and fun. That, that's true, like, in everything we do. So it's a lot of it is a work sometimes, and then gets taken a bit seriously. But I don't know. For the most part... I do mean it when I say the audience is the best audience in gaming, and they because you guys do get it most of the time, yeah. and you do make it fun. So it, it, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I met Grub at um, the first PAX East, which was we got ten more yeah, years. Yeah, we were ago. being parasocial. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, like, we to nobody each other. knew us, right? But yeah. it is it is really cool to like be back here and like have people coming up and saying hi. Like seriously, it's like always this incredible, awesome feeling. So thank you, everybody. Honestly, yeah, for real, beautiful. <laughs> Yes, applaud yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Five podcast points. Um, listen, Tim, I think we got room for maybe just one more voicemail. Choose wisely, bud. I can't read either of them. So. All right, cool. Well, actually, the up. audience can say it. Oh. Shout out. Stay frosty. Cool, I heard peak uh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right. a work. <laughs> Later on tonight, it's called the voicemail dump truck. And any questions you have, we'd be happy to answer. Do you have any questions? Is that a question? I think that's more of an exclamation point. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, it's the real Pikachu. I do not like that. <laughs> I do not like that there's a little Pikachu inside the Pikachu. It was there. fucked up. I'm still thinking about that. Well, that ain't right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need everyone to hear what Dan says after we interview Pikachu. I need silence. Later on tonight, it's called the voicemail dump truck. And any questions you have, we'd be happy to answer. Do you have any questions? Is that a question? I think that's more of an exclamation point. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. okay, what, what is with the pe That is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, yeah. that is fucked up. <laughs> like, imagine a little kid seeing that, right? <laughs> was I wrong? No, no. you're right. And that's exactly what I said. It was fucked up. It had that a praying Pikachu up. inside of it. That was upsetting. Why was there a Pikachu inside the I Pikachu? I don't know. It's fucked up. Yo, was that like Death Stranding Pikachu? Oh. oh. That's gross, I'd man. get into Pokemon. Kojima, cut the check, baby. <laughs> Folks, I think we got to wrap it up. Don't forget, 707 Exit Flu is our phone number. Give us a call for next week when we're back. <laughs> we'll be answering all your voicemails in short order. Uh, thank you, everyone up here on stage. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to see us and watching from home. That's going to do it for the voicemail dump truck. Everyone say thanks to Ricky. Thanks, Ricky. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.